somewhat simple answer to this, if we read the epistle of St. James, is that faith without works is dead. The Bible is very clear that we are saved by faith. If we have faith, then we're going to do good works. If we don't do good works, it means that we don't have faith. But we should take it perhaps to a different level. We're saved by the grace of God. Some of us think that we work and somehow we earn our salvation. We can never earn salvation. Sometimes we make this all, this process of salvation too difficult. Someone is trying to fast and they broke the fast and they get all worried and they say, oh, I owe so many days, I owe so many meals, I fell behind. God is not counting those things. That's not important to him. The importance is that we're continuously in the process of trying. Once we make the commitment to live the Christian life, it is an ongoing commitment. We can never stop. In the Orthodox faith, those who have not become uh, baptized, chrismated Orthodox are not allowed to receive communion yet, but they are allowed to experience the worship services and start developing an understanding so that they may become chrismated and experience. And people could ask and join any church I want to. You know, all I do is proclamate, proclaim that I'm saved and I can go down to the Protestant church or down to any other church and give my dues and everything else and, and be done with. Why is it such a process to embrace orthodoxy because it is a rich faith the orthodox church never had altar calls where it happens quick with a quick fix with a bumper sticker phrase with something immediate and gratifying right there and then to your emotions it goes beyond that and deeper than that the truth is, is i take this very seriously in the reality of bringing someone into the faith because we are accountable for this person's soul if you look at the priest's stole that wears, he wears over his neck is Petrahili, the bottom of the um, stole are these little tassels that hang, and that represents the souls that hang on his responsibility. So people's souls are in the priest's hands. Oftentimes people perceive, uh, once they start to hear about Orthodox Christianity, as an ancient ritualistic uh, faith, whereas anything that has sprouted up here in the United States is seen as new and innovative. Many other faiths are popular simply because they offer possibly a quick fix or a quick road to salvation and a road that is not that difficult. The Orthodox Church would be the road less traveled. Well, if we look at the pattern of these NRMs, these new religious movements, how long have they been around? I mean, just look in the last 100 years, the, ninth, the, the 20th century. Where are they? How did they evolve? How many of them are, are, are gone? Where will they be 200 years from now, 3,000 years from now, two weeks from now? When you walk into a church, you smell incense, you see the icons, you are filled with the power of God and the grace of God within the tradition of the church. Many of the other Christian denominations cut those aspects out, thinking that going direct to the source, being thinkers of the Western world especially, going straight to the source, only to scripture. But how will we know about scripture? How, how will we teach scripture if we don't use the fullness of the faith within the tradition of the church? Those are all aids to get to the message. Uh, Protestantism, for an example, has cut most of that out. Trying to go right to the source, but yet not giving the people the examples of how the source is to be lived. And thus, cutting so much of the richness of the faith, through, especially through the saints of the church and through the traditions of the church out of the life of people who just may be converted because of it, who just may be saved because of it, because of one saint, one holy tradition, one practice that clicks in their lives and that directs them back to the road that which Christ wants them to walk. Evangelical means the, 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 the correct preaching of the gospel. The, the, the promulgation of the gospel, the evangelion, the good news. Our church is, is very evangelical. In fact, it was evangelical because in 33, 33 AD, when Christ, when the church began, our mission was to, was to preach. If you'll remember at Pentecost, people spoke in different languages. Why did they speak in different languages? To preach the gospel in different languages, okay? 
why would you speak in one language and people don't understand? Okay. The mission of the church is to go out and evangelize and speak to people that un don't understand your language. If we're just speaking Greek or Italian or any, it's, if we're just speaking a certain language just to hear ourselves speak it, what good is it? We're not missioning to people. We're not telling the message of Christ to people. We're just hearing ourselves speak because we love the language. Would Christ have done that? Of course not. He spoke in the language of the people. It is very simple to understand the position of the Orthodox Church in today's world. Uh, it's really a transitional period because we are coming of age. It will take a few generations to get where we should be because of the great persecutions that we have suffered. Uh, the Greek Orthodox Church suffered the persecution under the Turks for 400 years. There was the great fear that their identity, their religion, their culture was all going to be wiped out, and that's what it was working towards to. And so they held on to that faith, that religion, their identity so strong, so fiercely, that that's what kept them alive and kept their identity alive and their faith alive all through that occupation. Maybe we are guilty of, uh, of keeping the church to ourselves, of not letting any strangers in. But we've seen the beauty of converts coming in. And when we see the fact that converts embrace not only the Orthodox faith, but they embrace our Greek tradition, then it's much easier for us to open our doors. Because I think we were afraid that people were going to come to the Orthodox Church and take away our ethnicity. I'm torn between the two. That is my problem. I'm torn between the two because my parents did come from Greece. I grew up in the Greek Orthodox faith and I speak the language and I love the hymnography and chanting the Greek. But I also have to turn and look at my children. What I really want to know is how am I going to be explaining or how is the priest going to be explaining to this generation coming up what Christ is, what the Orthodox Church is talking about, what that, you know, the, 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 the essence of salvation is if you talk to them only in a foreign language, in which a language they do not understand. I sympathize on the other part because my mother loves the Greek language, and my father does too. So there has to be some kind of a balance. We have to balance it out. I think the, fut the future of the Orthodox Church is in those converting to the faith. More and more Orthodox churches are using the English, predominantly using the English language in the divine services to accommodate and to welcome all those who don't understand the Greek language. Many of the Greek traditions and Byzantine rites must be preserved in our tradition of the divine services, but the language of the services are more and more being translated into English so our people are able to understand. Actually, I think it's changing because um, in the evolution of converts coming to the Orthodox Church and actually, if I could say, energizing the evangelical spirits that the Orthodox Church once had and should have, which never should have left, I think the converts are bringing that zeal back into the church. and. Uh, uh, and we are seeing the errors of our ways because our church now is kind of like hidden. So we're just, it's, it's a matter of rethinking of where we're at and what exactly the mission of the church is. Is it to keep ourselves closed as a Greek community or is it to mission throughout the entire world?